Hey guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about this question that I have seen flooding my comment section for the past few weeks. And it's not more really a question, but more so like a statement question. Um, people have been saying, how hard is it to get into PA school? Or is it hard to get into PA school? And I mean, the answer is convoluted, and I know I say this a lot um, for some of my, my answers, but it really is. And so I wanted to get into that with you guys in this particular video. So how hard is it to get into PA school? I mean, you know, like for some people it's very difficult to get into PA school and you might have others on the, like the whole opposite spectrum that says, it's so easy, you know what, I applied only once, I applied to one program and I got into that one program, or I applied to three programs and I got into all three of those programs that I applied to and I got to choose and you know, it was just an easy process and they went straight from undergrad into PA school. And that is like few and far between between in terms of the stories of like people's PA program progress, you know? Not everyone goes straight from undergrad into PA school. A lot of people take at least one gap year to just get some work experience because you do need direct patient care experience when you're you know, applying to PA programs. And so a lot of people will have at least one, maybe two or three years of just kind of work experience so that they can get into PA programs. Now, the difficult part about getting into PA school is meeting those requirements, but also kind of what you're going up against. So, you know, there are like maybe almost like 300 PA programs and there are more like popping up each and every day, honestly, like every year, like I look at the CASPA participating programs and there's like a new developing program, at least five of them. So there's a lot of programs that are like continuing to be developed. Now, with that being said, although there's a lot of programs and there's more PA programs than really there are medical school programs in the U.S., but the issue is, is that we allow a whole lot less students into the PA programs than we do into the med school programs. So you'll have like med schools that have like hundreds of students in their one cohort. But when it comes to PA programs, they're only allowing like 30 students or 40 students. Some schools have 20 or 25 students in their cohort. So when you look at that now, if you have a program that really only has 25 to 35 or 40 seats available and you're getting over a thousand applicants, that is where the difficulty comes in. That's what makes it difficult to get into PA school because you're kind of competing against all of these applicants in this applicant pool. And that is like across the schools. You're like, you're getting these same amount of applicants like across the, the, the various different programs. They're not just applying to one program. There may be that few that are like, you know, like this is my, my top choice. I'm gonna apply to this program and this program only. But that's not always the case. And so you'll have students that are applying to multiple programs and you're going to be going up against all of them. And so therefore, the, the thing that makes it difficult is the number of seats, but also maybe the lack of preparation, right? So when it comes to PA programs, I always tell you, or applying to PA school, I say the plans of the diligent lead to prosperity. So what that means is you need to plan diligently so that you can succeed in whatever it is that you're trying to do. Don't be like me when I was like originally applying to PA school and I was like, oh, well, I know I can get in, like I'm, I'm meeting this requirement and that's fine and then I applied and no, I didn't get in because I didn't do my due diligence. I didn't really research the programs. I didn't look at what their requirements were like fully. I didn't look to see like what their average students were coming in with to see if I met that or if I surpassed that. And those are like some tips and tricks that I learned along the way. And I was like, you know what? I should have done this in the beginning, but now I have the chance to kind of rectify this stupid fallacy that I made um, and 
I can make this a whole lot better of experience for myself going forward. And that's really honestly, again, why I'm starting this platform because I've learned a lot like through the time of applying and then getting into PA school and, and like and completing PA school and being a, a PA now for the last, what, six, seven months of, of working on my job. Um, so it's, I've learned a lot. And so that's why I started Get That C University. So if you haven't heard about it, go to getthatcuniversity.com and sign up so that you can actually be the first to know when my official like launch date for the platform is. And it's coming up very soon. So I suggest you sign up so that you're among that group. Um, and you can also subscribe because you'll know exactly when that happens as well because I will be sure to let you guys know. But apart from that, you guys, I just wanted to also let you know that you have to plan, right? So what makes it difficult for some students is that lack of preparation. Like you go in, you don't really know the requirements, you're not meeting all of them, or you're like kind of just skating by with the minimum you know, requirements of the GPA and the hours. And that is not gonna get you into PA school so that's where this whole like oh my gosh it's difficult I've applied twice and I've been waitlisted or I didn't get in or I got an interview and you know those that's where that kind of comes to into play apart from that once you've gotten honestly once you've gotten an interview like now it's on you like nothing else is really stopping like you have to shine through right so your the difficulty is in that pre-interview stage so to get over that hump you really have to do your due diligence and study your behind off like you're like studying for a test but you're studying for your career you're studying for you know this job that you want for the rest of your life so therefore treat it as such you know treat it as something that you cherish. So look at the various different things that the schools and programs are looking at. See if you meet those requirements. If you don't try to get to those requirements um, or surpass them, take the time, you know, don't rush it. Take your time and actually do your due diligence. And that process of getting into PA school will be a whole lot easier and you'll be among those that say, oh, you know what, it's easy to get into PA school. It's not as difficult as you may think. Um, rather than those that are like, yeah, it's super difficult and hard to get into PA school. Because honestly, it's not. It's not that difficult to get into PA school. It only seems that way because you're going up against other candidates that are either more qualified than you or that have done more preparation than you. And um, for the most part, they're not necessarily more qualified than you. They may have just really just did their due diligence. So I wanted to share that with you guys and give you guys some encouragement because I don't want you to think that this profession is unattainable, that you know it's so difficult to get into, so why even try? Maybe I should go do something else. No, like we need you guys. We need you in our profession, right? So please definitely go out there do your due diligence, study up, and apply to the PA programs of your choice. And then hopefully in the future, you can absolutely be a part of the team, a part of um, the profession, and a colleague. Um, so hopefully this answered you guys' questions. Please leave your comments in the comment sections. You guys, I glean a lot of information from them. I get a lot of content from them and I do read your comments, so leave them down there in the comment section for me. And also please follow me on Instagram, at Adana the PA. Um, and I, I really want you guys to like this video as well and subscribe, okay? So do all those things for me. It helps my YouTube algorithm out a lot. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.